Welcome back to the Balance Direct of Entertainment, the Good Morning Niger Show. Now, uh, we may say, when we start the show this morning, we'll be talking, say, uh, today, uh, well, September yesterday. 17th, or yesterday, actually, uh, now, September 16th, then they commemorate, uh, you know, the day for creating awareness concerning the depletion of the ozone layer. This has not happened for a couple of years now, and Nigeria know they exempted. Now, we get one very gorgeous lady waiting in the studio with us. She's done there here before, but now to speak English, now she can't speak that time. <laughs> now she's done there to talk about the ozone layer. Woman with no book. Nice to down with us today. <laughs> so we'd like Mokuna join us to welcome Glory Og Og Ogwebu. Ogwebu, where they try to <laughs> yes, pronounce his surname. Thank yeah, Glory you. Ogwebu. Welcome, Glory from uh, Climate Smart Nigeria. Nigeria yeah. yeah, welcome, uh, Glory. Thank you so much for having me here. Yeah, I think that uh, the ozone layer depletion is a very important topic. Mm. This thing don't happen since, but people don't know. The woman for village don't understand what they talk by ozone layer. So that is why we think that is a good opportunity to talk about it now right. in simple terms that they can understand. All right, but we will start before, from the basic. Exactly. I mean, waiting this ozone layer, waiting the ozone being, layer. Going because on. a lot of people feel they hear them, um, but they don't know what they so that they go feel understand what they need to know. In fact, it's a very good question because with the evil before me, I come to know them. I do not know what it is. It just sounds like big English. You go just see big men sit down somewhere. They talk the global warming, ozone layer, what's happening. It just sounds too big to me. So. First of all, as we did for this world where we did in mm -hmm. the earth, you get some things where they enable the earth to work. You get the sun system, you have the, um, the global system, you have the atmospheres, you have the greenhouse gases. Before you and I sit down for a year, you are okay and your skin temperature is normal because of certain things we don't do. Now the sun is an important part of this thing where they talk about, but if we allow the sun to just they hit us directly like that before no day yet. All of us could not die. But now, because the sun rays is very, very dangerous, it's bringing out what is called ultraviolet rays. That's where we say if they touch your skin, before you know it, you figure skin cancer, you, you figure production of vitamin D in your skin, which is not supposed to be too much of it. You know, so the ozone layer help us to protect human beings from that direct sunlight. Mm. The ozone layer be just up to way cover this earth like this, cover the sun area like this. Where we say it will enable the sun direct ray not to touch us. So it be like sieve, where yes. they shift that. It they shift that it the way where the sun they take good. our body. So because it they there, the sun know they too eat us like that. Even if you defeat sun for your body, it's not really causing you that a uh, dangerous one where we say you go give you skin cancer. So if you get that kind of goodness for on top of our atmosphere and our environment, why it be problem now? Why why people they talk about them now? So what did they happen to that sieve where they cover the whole earth? Exactly. So it started happening in 1970. Some scientists, you know, this way they go check the earth, they go fly, go check what did they happen. One of them is like NASA. They call they discover, say something they happen. For that gas we cover the place. It called they develop what is called a hole. So as you can't develop this hole like this, that hole can't they give space where we say the sun can't they touch us directly. Remember the sun is not supposed to touch us directly. Mm -hmm. But that hole can't they, the scientists can't they wonder, what is this hole that is here? And what is causing it? It is a problem because there is hole there now. Now the sun is eating us directly. Animals are dying. Uh, a lot of things are happening that the scientists are beginning to notice. They say, ah, what's happening? It is that hole that is causing it all. So that is it's what is called ozone layer depletion. So you know, just to make them easier also, so if they try to talk, say it'd be like sieve, where they sieve gary and that sieve get hole. If they try to come out the gary, wait on top sieve where get hole, you go see say all of the gary no go sieve. Some big big ones go fall, touch the bottom. Correct. Now what so, if they try to talk? You don't say gary it's come out. <laughs> I mean <laughs> it's, it's very, very similar Excuse to me. what you just explained. Mm. You know, so and you get some things we cause that hole, you know, and we they hear them every time, ozone layer depletion, we they think in a big English, but it's really simple. Some things where we they do, now, we, now things where me and you, they do for our, our daily activities that causes the hole to appear. You know, so some of those things are, you know, using, uh, making, burning fossil fuel. I they tell people every time, they ask me, what is fossil fuel, what is fossil fuel? Fossil fuel is the type of fuel that you get under the ground, the crude fuel. Mm. Before, you know, say before you get fuel, petroleum, diesel, kerosene, gas, and all of that, you first bring them out from ground. It's very black like mm. this. It is called fossil fuel. And the reason, I'm happy you told me earlier that you studied microbiology because the reason it's called fossil is that these are dead plants and animals that contain energy. Mm. They contain serious energy. They don't have any business to be on the atmosphere. Mm. Well, now people, because of industrialization and 
Because people want to make money. You know, if they hear everything, I owe you money. That oil my way, they hear. Now, people, when they go come out this thing from God, it's not supposed to be outside. Now, when they come out and from God, they call it, they bring out different aspects of it, fuel, petroleum, this one and that one. They go use them, come pull, like, do generator. They'll use it to do fuel. Do you notice the smoke that come out every time you drive your motor? If you drive your car, there's a smoke that come out, right? Yeah. If you if use car, car don't bad way, yeah. Good. There's, there's a smoke, smoke that come out, right? <coughs> if you burn Excuse something, me. there's mm -hmm. a smoke that comes out. Even when you smoke cigarettes. Good. It's called CO2. Mm -hmm. Carbon four oxide is the name of that smoke, which is a dangerous gas. These are all the things we be saying. We they put up for atmosphere. We they put up for the atmosphere. Mm -hmm. It's just, just like you know, it's just I'm going to the atmosphere. And it's causing climate change. Now you make that oh come appear for the ozone. Because it's too hot. CO2 is a hot gas. Mm. It can melt anything. So that is what has over the years of industrialization, the tin come make the earth, the, the tin film of the ozone layer to deplete. Now that whole don't appear the way we say some call they eat us directly. I know say you they hear climate change, climate change. It is the same thing that is aiding climate change. Mm. So it's because waiting me and you they do. The, the problem is that people need to know what to begin to do mm -hmm. to reduce their activities, to stop these things. Because now us cause and now even us go we also, also solve, solve the I bring the solutions. All right, all right. Yeah. Now we know say um, uh, climate smart Nigeria, when I get different things, when I want to teach people about how to take care of the atmosphere and how not to deplete the ozone layer. And also they get different things, when I don't they do and when I plan to do. So tell um, us how your company actually they do the work where they need to do to make sure say a lot of Nigerians they are aware because now awareness good. may be the first step on top of this yeah. this um, situation we talk about. So thank you very much. You don't already talk up now awareness. If you don't know what you go do, what will you do? Mm. You have to first of all know what you will do. So we want to start with education in Nigeria. Nigerians know sabi these things. Even if they hear it, they don't want to learn. They feel, okay, how much will I get from it? This is the way they tell me, if I do it, how much will I I say, but I'm talking to you about your health. Something will go help you. It is because they don't have a proper understanding of the situation. That is what we are doing. Even so, we want to take the opportunity of the ozone layer day. Maybe yesterday. We want to join the whole world. They are talking about it everywhere. How will we protect the ozone layer? What are the new technologies that are there? What can we do? Now we say, maybe we could join the whole world. Maybe we talk of our country, Nigeria, now. It's the only us that will not be participating in these discussions. Every other country, they do them. You know, but why won't we? So basically, we have outlined a series of programs mm. for the coming two weeks to do this work. We want to go down to the grassroots. We want to talk to the children in school. Because when they grow up, they grow up with the knowledge. With the knowledge, they now know what to do. It's very important to understand what is happening in the world system so that you can know what to do. If you don't understand it, you cannot know how to play a role. So the first one they talk about education, educating the mm. people. We want to educate school children. Okay. Our target is uh, 500 uh, kids for now. Talk to them about the ozone layer depletion, what you can do. You can use recycled products. We did a competition for secondary schools. And one girl really surprised us in the competition. She picks up nylon, pure water nylon, mm -hmm. and she uses it to make, she's just 16 years old, she uses it to create a shopping bag. Mm -hmm. On her own, she thought of the idea that to, re to recycle is important. The recycling helps us to protect the zone layer. So I normally, I, they talk about that particular girl because we like her idea. Now she has supplied her pure water bag to five su two supermarkets. Because the idea is that instead of using that one way, that black one way they give, you go give her, you go, the person will come buy something again, you go give it that black one again. How many times will we produce the black nylon? Don't you see it's blocking drainages? Yeah. And then you see flooding everywhere in Lagos, carrying houses and all of that. So things like that, now we want to promote. So we were mentoring the girl and happily she has even been recognized by the United Nations mm -hmm. for that idea. Yeah. Especially, you know, especially so, with things like nylon, where they non-biodegradable. Yes. Good, point, they right, take, so. and plastic bottles, they take 1,000 years to decay. Mm -hmm. So, and you know, we see they pay me, that 50, 50 naira own. You know, saying that every time, you Everyone every time buy. just that small water, you drink it and then you buy another one. Plastics are storing up. Plastics cannot decay and then they block drainages and when you burn them, they send CO2. We want to they tell people about this. This is what you can do. We have a campaign, hold your litter. Hold your litter, collect your plastic bottles, keep it one place, call us. We will connect it to a recycling company to come and take the bottles. Don't throw it. Me, I don't throw away plastic. I keep it in my house. Because I don't, I, it's doing me somewhere in my mind to throw it away. It's going to simply, see, when you dump it in the dustbin, it does not go anywhere. Mm. The dustbin people will carry it and go and block it somewhere. But you can recycle it. There's a lot of things you can do. So we want to reach schools, number one. 
and educate them with this information. This is what you can do. This is the problem that is happening. Then we want to do a social media literacy campaign. That one don't start today. Part of why I come here now, that one. Mm. We want to talk to people. This is what is happening. The ozone layer is depleting fast. Animals are dying. Crops are low. There is no yield. So we want to do that one. It's going to end on Saturday. Every day we're going to talk about them on social media. I want everyone should join us on Climate Smart Nigeria. What so the listing on, on at Climate Smart Nigeria. Climate Smart Nigeria. Yes, follow us. Follow May you see where we go. They talk. That one go end on Saturday. Then we want to reach market women. Market women do a lot though to this the way we they talk. They have a lot, a lot of solutions to bring. We want to tell them what's going on, how they can even manage their waste. Look at what you can do. So we have that market outreach on Saturday. We want to go to the market and talk to them. Then we have so what we call get the dog. strategic places when I want to go for inside Lagos State. Yes, markets. Exactly, for yes, market. so we want to go and talk to them. We have a team that would go and do all these things. Then we have another one, door-to-door -door campaign. We want to take about a lot of streets and just talk to them, give them flyers, see what's happening. So now this I know this, all this project, I need to come in here because yeah. of time. I know all this project is quite, um, it's quite challenging. Uh, your sponsors, how long do they take manage with um, getting spawn funding for this? So we just need yeah. you to just, if you, if you uh, how can even sponsors, more sponsors even reach you so that if you do collaboration to make sure say, mm -hmm. more of this, your project will actually reach out to as many people as possible. Yeah, thank you for that. Now I make a want to thank Access Bank Nigeria because they don't they do this kind of thing before. They, they help support this kind of thing. We want to make everybody, you know, key into these matters and try to see how we can protect the environment. You know, I can be reached on my um, handle, phone number, I think, 080 Three six two nine one four five zero. People can call me. Let us do it together. But well, you call say your Instagram, your handle now, climate, climate smart, smart Nigeria. Nigeria. Because a lot of people there now yes, on social media, yeah, so yeah, it's easier yeah. for people to reach it's you. It's easier social there. Media. I want me we start this conversation together. May people right. call me, call me, like ask me questions. Let me explain to you what is happening and how it is happening, so Fantastic. that together we can change the world. Fantastic. This world also layer day. Thank you so much, Glory, for Thank coming. You. You're quite educative <laughs> and quite informative. Um, you so whenever much. you come here, we're always, always enlightened. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.